There we go. That's why a is this slow puzzle. Why is this part of the gym leader like challenge? Uh, I don't know. It seems like every trainer is mandatory, and then you, then the puzzle's just there to waste your time. You're like, hey, can I fight the gym leader? They're like, yes, but you have to rotate the gym around a hundred times. And you're like, but why? <laughs> Otherwise, we won't know you're a good enough trainer for the Elite Four. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to some more Pokemon X. Uh, we need to do the Ice Gym. I'm sorry, the Ice Gym. Okay, so what's the gimmick here? So those little colored platforms that those trainers are standing on, there's a button on either side. If yeah. you push one, this these little squares that you're standing on right now, those ice squares, mm -hmm. will rotate around in that direction. I'm curious as to who calls her the queen of the ice rank. I think she calls herself that. Lame. Only lame people give themselves nicknames. Yeah, like what a geek. Like Big League MDB. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's with the uh, tiny ear on Sneasel? Is that a gender difference? Yeah, female Sneasels have that tiny ear. It looks terrible. It it does. It just like kind of takes away from the design. <laughs> yeah, it just looks not as good. Yeah, male Sneasel looks cooler in my opinion. Yeah. Cloyster, I am definitely switching to Roserade. I mean, I'm weak against it, but... I think I'll one-shot it, probably. So because we didn't have time to talk before the recording session, Brandon, what are your thoughts on Monster Hunter Rise? <laughs> uh, I'm asking him specifically because he does challenges in Monster Hunter. From, yeah. from what I've seen, it looks cool. Yeah? I haven't seen anything new. Like, I saw, like, the first trailer. <laughs> uh, there was a new trailer put out yesterday for the Game Awards. Oh, well, then I have things to watch. Yeah. Ooh. Um, to summarize, they brought back the Flooded Forest from Monster Hunter 3. Okay. Um, and they're bringing back Royal Ludroth. Sweet. And the Great Roggy. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of new monsters shown, and people are speculating. Well, it's also kind of confirmed that Kezu is back. They teased his roar and an electric ball, but they didn't show him. Oh, good. I always loved fighting that monster. Is an electric ball like a Pokeball? Sure. It's yeah. good at catching electric monsters. See, I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked to a Kezu on, on, on this show before. Have but... we? I, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't get very far in Monster Hunter World. I like it a lot. It's just... Oh. Thankfully, yeah. Kezu's not in that game. Yeah, Kezu's not oh. in that. <laughs> Why His is it awful? Is <laughs> it's just, to me, I find it awful to fight because it likes to, like, jump <clears throat> mm. from, like, the ground to the ceiling, ceiling, to the walls, and then back to the ground. You're like, just stay where I can fight you. <laughs> I think we can all agree that his theme is pretty rad, though. I don't think I found a monster's theme that I didn't like, so. Well, well, the joke here is that Kezu's theme is silence. He doesn't have any music whenever you fight him. Oh. Does he not? No, yeah. Like, I, I saw in the comments for uh, for the various Rise trailers um, that they showed Kezu, they, they teased Kezu, and they played his theme at this brief moment of silence. Nice. <laughs> uh, I was hoping it was the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger theme. In fact, I believe that's canon. That the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are in Monster Hunter? Yeah. Can you prove otherwise? No, so I guess it's true. Yeah, is that how that works? <laughs> Facts. All right, all right. I need to get out of here and heal because we lost Tyrantrum, and that's probably a problem. Yeah. I'll figure out this puzzle soon enough. Oh nope, I gotta rotate Not it again. One. It's just step on the buttons enough, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look very complicated. Well, I say that now. I'm like stuck. I guess I gotta rotate this back. I was going to say, you could rotate the pink one again, and then you would be able to nope. get out. <laughs> yeah, nope, I just can't yeah, leave you now. Yeah. You're going to have to go through a few of these. Yeah, I think it's just the... Uh, one more on the this blue. This is balls. Yeah, this first part is annoying, and then the second part, for some reason, is a little bit easier. Okay. Nope. Mm, for no, nope. no apparent reason. So it's going to go back to the initial configuration, step on the pink again, and then you should be able to walk down. I hope. And yay! Now I need to go heal. All right, where's the Poke Center in this place? 
here, right? Oh, hey, hold on. I think we already looked at the cosmetics uh, here, and you didn't did find we? anything you like. Okay. We could have been invisible. They had a camo hood. You'd think there'd be, like, a bunch of winter gear, you know? Oh, here it you'd, is. You'd think there was a light blue Pokemon. Like, there's a lady in the Pokemon Center is wearing jeans, flip-flops, and a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she shouldn't be wearing that in the winter zone, but okay. I guess she's indoors. I don't know how she got in here wearing that. Well, that girl's wearing a short skirt. Wait, outside? Yeah. I didn't even notice. I guess they just didn't have, like, archetypes for winter clothing. Also, Brandon, in regards to Rise, because they confirmed that uh, Royal Ludroth is coming back, amongst other things, that uh, Leviathans are back, and people are speculating that Legiacris might come back, as well as Mizutsune. Okay, well, Legiacris is one of the ones I've wanted to see, so... Mm hmm And I think they also teased in the trailer uh, this song that they used when you're fighting Gobel from Monster Hunter 3. Mm -hmm. You'll want that configuration for the blue. Yeah, uh, by the way, I just need, need to get to the get bottom the one moved. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck sake. No, no, go through the middle. Wait, ah, oh. uh, give me an hour. We'll get yeah, back to you, it. You fucked it. Now the animations have got to play for like twenty minutes. Here we go. Here we go. This way, I don't think I get locked out again. If you can navigate to the blue from one of these configurations. Okay, I can navigate to blue from this one. Uh, um, go along the pink is what I'm getting. Getting there here. we go. Okay, we can go down and around on this. You I can, but um, you're gonna want the pink to be okay. Now you want the yeah. pink one to be oh. this middle one here. So rotate okay. the pink. Yeah. Jesus. And oh, keep going until yeah. you can access both this pathway and the middle pathway. Uh, oh, nope, this again. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's why a is this, slow puzzle. Why is this part of the gym leader like challenge? Uh, I don't know. It seems like every trainer is mandatory, and then you, then the puzzle's just there to waste your time. You're like, hey, can I fight the gym leader? They're like, yes, but you have to rotate the gym around a hundred times. And you're like, but why? <laughs> Otherwise, we won't know you're a good enough trainer for the Elite Four if you can't rotate this room enough. God damn it. Please don't do this to me. I I was playing some... Uh, I was playing a Pokemon challenge this morning, and I kept fighting Misty over and over. Uh, it's probably not going to make the video, because it's not really that... Because uh, it's not really that interesting. Crit again. Go into but fur fur. I had, like, three attempts in a row against Misty, where every time she used Water Pulse my Pokemon would get confused and then hit themselves until they faint. Like, nice. And, like, that sounds crazy, but in reality, I only, you know, they only hit themselves once and then they finished me off. But still, like, Water Pulse doesn't confuse you that much. And it's a run where I've got two different Pokemon, and both of them got confused each time and hit themselves each time. I don't know if I can really work that into the video, but that happened this morning. <laughs> So that, that delayed me finishing my Pokemon challenge stuff for the morning by like a half an hour, which just shifted everything. I know the feeling. Yeah. Playing the Skyrim challenge where like Alduin just won't cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting Alduin and Parthenex keep, keeps landing exactly where you want to be. <laughs> you, you ever had it happen where you go to use the, the Dragon Wrench shout? An Alduin and Parthenax just flies by and takes the bullet. Well, it'll it'll pierce through him, <laughs> so you can actually hit them both with it. Oh, I didn't have that fucking luck. You know how that game runs. And then they'll land right in front of each other. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, okay, well, where am I supposed to go? All right, I'm just going to fight both of them preemptively. Oh, God, am I going to have to leave here? Again to go heal and then do the puzzle again. Do you have yeah, do you have revives? revives? Yeah, yeah. I I must have items for this. <laughs> and, and your first Pokemon is Talon Flame. Yeah, it's Doesn't not matter. that At least strong. You're a fire attacker, so. Yeah. Not the strongest one in the world, but it's what we've got. And if you're ever low on Ooh. health, you can just roost and re remove your flying type, so you can still be uh, fire type for another hit. Oh yeah, that's true. 
That's true. So like, if you take a lot of damage here, just use Roost, and then he'll do less damage on the next hit. Yeah, I'll just flame charge again. He'll hit me again. I'll be in red. Then I'll roost. Oh, hail. Okay. Oh, hail. Yeah, no, no. he's just gonna hit you every turn. All hail shadow. Hmm. I hmm. am just gonna finish him off and hope the next thing doesn't use Blizzard. Did I buy Shadow the Hedgehog? I think I bought Shadow the Hedgehog recently. I think you told me that you bought Shadow the Hedgehog like a couple months ago, right? I think so. I think you told me that. That or we were talking about Shadow the Hedgehog for unrelated reasons, but I don't know why we would just bring up Shadow the Hedgehog. So what are you talking <laughs> about? This is your show. Of course you're going to bring up Shadow the Hedgehog. That is true. Shadow the Hedgehog just turned around and looked at my like game shelf and saw it there. We did Let's Play Shadow the Hedgehog once. It was two episodes, and then we managed to squeeze out a third episode with the, like, 15 minutes the multiplayer has to it. I forgot there was multiplayer. So yeah. This fight is going to be Ooh. tricky because it just used acid armor, and it's in yeah. hail, and it's got ice body, so it's, uh, this, yeah, you're not yeah. going to do much. Oh, I got crit, too. This is my third time getting crit in the last 10 minutes. Roserade should do more. Uh, yeah. Or Lapras, actually, because uh, Lapras is Surf. Eh. This is a pure ice, right? Just Giga Drain. Yeah. Between Miracle Seed and all that stuff, oh. no way. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we're going to see how many revives I have. I mean, who knows if we'll even need the whole team for the gym. The, the last two have been quite easy, actually. All hail Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I never named a Pokemon Shadow the Hedgehog? Well, either than character <laughs> limit. <fit>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, how many revives? Six. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. These are our Turo. We are the only um, <laughs> remaining version of Caesar and Arturo on the internet. So, are we? <laughs> yes. Oh, Bruno has no idea what Caesar <laughs> and Arturo is. It's some really funny flash animation on um, Newgrounds from back in the day that me and Brandon way back in the day did a voiceover on on YouTube. We, we asked if we could do like our own fan, um, a fan <laughs> voiceover because it was so funny and we did it. And then later that guy ended up taking down his animation. So our YouTube video in the Flash Trash playlist is the only remaining record of the the greatest story of our time, Caesar and Arturo versus Bio Lizard. <laughs> okay, no, uh, hold do, on. Do Is that on the other side? Okay, do yeah. Green. Yeah. You'll want that middle one and the two side ones to be available. So it would be more. great if the uh, camera was just a little more zoomed out so I could see the left this side one. as well. Okay. No, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, middle. There you go. We did it! The worst puzzle! I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm paranoid. I don't want to do that shit again. Start with <laughs> Lapras. Never mind. Oh, well, no. Well, Just in case, because I don't remember. Why are you wearing that? And why are you wearing it like that? Well, do he needs you, those snow pants. Do you like my mustache? So, was the idea behind the design that will show that he doesn't need a coat, he's so used to the cold, but he has a coat because we need him to look wintery. Yeah, he's just cool Uncle Santa. Is he cool, though? Does he look cool? He no. has a cape. No, I mean literal oh, cool. No, he, he doesn't look cool, he looks cold. Okay, so that's <laughs> just extra cool. Kind of? That's only going to do normal damage. Oh, yeah. No, never mind. Uh, I forget the effectiveness right, for rock, rock yes. and grass. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, I have troubles with the, the ground and rock differences as well. Oh, <gasps> my God. Oh, my oh, no, hell. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> going to say, how the hell do we hang on? Um, That's pretty good. You mean, how the hell did we hang on? Very good. Also, this will be quad effective. I should have used this in the first place. There we go. Yay, Talonflame. 
Woo. I didn't even name it. Talonflame, I think, is our, like, least used Pokemon. I think so. I don't mind it. It's just, it's not setting my world on fire. Get it? It's it's fire type. Because it's on oh. fire? Mm, her, yep. her? Yep. Stick with this. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Even if it's we were to lose frail, Talonflame, so... who cares? <laughs> What's uh, Krygonal's gimmick outside of attraction? It dies fast. What do you mean outside of attraction? <laughs> Does it not have anything outside of attraction? What do you mean by attraction? Doesn't it have the move attraction? No, it, it can learn attract, but it's genderless, so it can't make use of it. Oh. I thought that was the gimmick. Cause no. I Because every time Cryagonal comes up, the comment section yells at me that it can learn attract. Well, I mean, Santa's Delibird made a forum post forever ago about that, too. I, yes, there was that as well, yes. <laughs> um, but Cryogonal is just a pretty strong ice type. It's got low attack and defense, but it's got great speed, special defense, and special attack. Hmm. Oh, unrelated. But did you guys see that people are really liking the Mario Party stuff? So far, yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen it, no, but I can assume. The... Positive comments on it, like, people are really enjoying it, the likes are really good, and the view count, surprisingly, is way higher than anything else I do that's non-Pokemon, so I'm just happy that people are enjoying it. But what about the negative comments? I legit didn't see any, but I'm sure they exist, and that's fine. There Sorry, I literally don't know what that Pokemon was. Uh, I'm gonna I go for you, because it's reliable. This might be a fun exchange. Who? What the fuck? I I kind of like it. It's like a it's like a floating iceberg kind of thing, you know? Yeah, he's the bottom um, of an iceberg. What the type of just, just ice? It's pure ice. It's pure okay. ice. The pre-evolution is the top of an iceberg, and this one is the bottom of an iceberg. Mm. Wow. Weird. Wow. That thing's tanky. Yeah, it's. The, I like to refer to it as the polar opposite in more than one <gasps> sense of the word. Polar? Uh, what does Cotton Guard do again? Increases your defense drastically, three stages. <laughs> Hold on. The move it was using was physical, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, Two can play the, the tanky game. It's the polar opposite of Cryogonal. It's got great attack and defense and I think HP, but it's not great in the specials category or in speed. This is going to be a dumb fight. <laughs> He's using yep. Curse now. All right, I'm using Cotton Guard a second time to max out. And he's already used both of his healing items, so I think you're you're still good. Haha! -ha! <laughs> now, mind you, Avalanche does more if I hit him, right? Yeah. Okay, so his his subsequent avalanches will do more. He will win this battle of attrition, I'm sure. But oh, yeah. I get the feeling Roserade could probably just Giga Drain him. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he'd live through that. I imagine if he's got this high of defense. Surely his special defense is lame to offset it. I would hope. <laughs> I mean, unless he's just Shuckle but can fight. This is just kind of a lame Pokemon, just keeping an eye on it for this whole time. Its design is interesting, like you know what they're going mm. for, but it's just like, eh. <laughs> it kind of feels like it's missing something, you know? All right. This fight has gotten half. dumb enough. I am moving. Don't to... switch to Rose. Don't uh, switch to Roserade right now. Why? <laughs> Will he He's just kill me? He's got so many buffs on Curse. If he hits Roserade um, with a physical ice move, it's going to die before you can use anything. I just figured he's going to keep spamming Curse because he keeps spamming Curse. He's trying to offset all that plus six defense that you have. All right. I'm just going to keep using Return then. Maybe I'll crit. It'll bypass his changes. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Oh, is he gonna kill me here? Oh, Aww. come on! I almost won the attrition. All right. The good news well, is that any one of your Pokemon here could take it out, and they're faster. Yeah, I'll just have Lapras do it because Lapras uh, needs the most experience right now, and just fucking anything. There we go. Almost a level up. Outstanding! <laughs> but if you didn't do the puzzle right, I wouldn't give you the badge. Impressive. You fought with great courage. 
<laughs> I have the Triforce of Wisdom. You know, when when I when I watched the battle, courage wasn't what was coming to mind. Oh, I spam. Courage wasn't what was coming to mind as I it watched two Pokemon. It was Ed and it was a different Cartoon Network show. Okay, Courage Cowardly Dog. That took me a second. Um, <laughs> I I just love that he sees the battle of me using Cotton Guard and him using Curse over and over, and then us chip damaging each other. And he's like, "What courage! This is incredible." Now, what if a trainer came in right now? Just <laughs> rollerblade right up the center. Oh, whoa! Whoa! This is so fucking dangerous. How did you gain enough speed to do this? <laughs> I don't. And I went <laughs> up a ramp at the end too. That was the crazy part. <laughs> huh? Um. Oh. There's the future champ. My favorite character, Jim Attendee. Yeah, he doesn't have a name, does he? In some games, he has a name. Uh, why didn't you say this to me when I was talking to you a minute ago? He wanted to go across the slide really bad, so he was uh, like, I'll let him go. Then I'll catch up. <laughs> that was a, that was really weird. Um, I guess I'll heal. No reason not to. All right, so now now that brings up even more questions. What happens if a, like a trainer arrives now? Hmm. Now the gym leader's outside the gym. He's got to go across the <laughs> ice bridge back to his thing to stand there. And the trainer could easily just follow him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I was about to say, he's got to run to the, the Poke Center and heal, and then he's got to get back and reset the puzzle and stuff. But then I thought, no. Can a trainer cheese it right now and just walk up to him and challenge him? Because isn't it when a trainer's eyes meet, they've got to fight? <laughs> he's outside. <laughs> you just, <laughs> can you imagine a trainer just looks in the window and can't, catches a glance of him and, ha ha, <laughs> I get to skip to you. <laughs> Gym leaders need to all start wearing sunglasses. They start wearing sunglasses so they can't, <laughs> people can't see their eyes. They're like, no, no, we didn't lock eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, what direction is the Elite Four from here? Left. Um, okay, left and then up. Got it. Oh, Victory is just the left. Okay. It's kind of like going to Namek. Up and to the left for 34 days? Mm-hmm. Have we made that reference ever since people started watching my channel? We just did. <gasps> That's true! <laughs> Except for if people Google that, they won't find what it's from. So technically, we just left winter and came back into spring. So, yeah, about the same amount of time to get to Namek. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. I it's love so, doing this. So just, cool. Wait, uh, this is not if you're going right faster and you do that little s side swipe, then you'll actually maintain your speed. I just want to. This isn't it's... the Route 21 I was looking at at all. I just yeah, there really want to. Parts of Route 21. Oh, it's so hard to get just that. Yeah. I like that. It's got style. Fight me. This is the very beginning of your gurney. Does that mean you're going to have a starter Pokemon? No. Well, I mean, I don't know what lab you're from. Maybe that was it your could starter. Be a starter. So does every Pokemon trainer get their first Pokemon at a lab? Is that just like standard practice? I mean, I think that's what's implied. Yeah, but then at that same point, do they always have the starter Pokemon, or do some of them just get, like, Sableye? Ash got Pikachu. Yeah. That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't one of the first, Ash like, was types. lazy and late. Yeah, that was a special circumstance. I'm sure there's been times in the Pokemon series where people have brought up getting Pokemon from their parents, right? Uh, Faulkner. Mm -hmm. Isn't Faulkner's uh, gimmick that his Pokemon are just, like, on loan from his dad? Yeah. Man, this Sable is kicking the shit out of me, but... <laughs> foul foul play does more damage the higher the target's attack stat. Oh, Jesus, that's rough. Um, what the hell is his name? The dude from Sword and Shield. Hop. Hop. He's got the sheep thing. Yeah, he just kind of found it out and about and threw a Pokeball at it, and there we go. That's that's what it is. I... Crestle is ground from his brother, or so. rock and bug? Crustle is rock and bug. Okay. So Lapras, Lapras would have been more. I like uh, that Pokemon. Damage. Yeah. Also, I do, I like it as well. There's something Banjo Kazooie enemy about it. Kind of reminds you of the crab from uh, not Rusty Bucket Bay, but uh, the second stage, the beach thing. Rust. Uh, no, 
fucking Treasure Trove Cove. That's the yes, one. Yes, that's the one. I was blanking on the name as well. All right, I'm going to heal. On the next episode, everybody, we go to Victory Road in Springlandia. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Oh, oh that's, that's, I can't go up the ramp. That was a good way if you ended the episode right there as you <laughs> yeah. bumped to the ramp.